How's it going YouTube? So today we are back with the F-250 that I bought from a Richie Brothers auction with the idea that the engine did not respond when the key was turned, batteries were unhooked, that explains why the engine didn't respond, and upon pickup I asked the mechanic there if he knew what was wrong with the truck. He said that they had a lot of 6.0s, so he wasn't positive it was this one, but he was, he was pretty sure that this one had a blown head gasket on the passenger side and then the engine locked up. So potentially a hydro lock due to a bad head gasket. That being said, we are now going to see if that's the case. We brought the truck home, confirmed the truck didn't turn over, and now we're gonna try to verify hydro lock. And if that's the case, then we'll have some videos of the cab coming off and replacing the head gasket and all that fun. But first we're gonna pop the hood and take a look at what we're dealing with. Okay, so first order of business, we'll be pulling all of the glow plugs out of this. And the glow plugs on this have a cable or a harness on them that is very finicky. So my mechanic knew about this and said, hey, borrow my tool to get them open. And if you can tell, you probably can't. It's a snap-on one. So he was like, yeah, it's like a $70 tool because it's snap-on. So I went ahead and went out and bought a like $6 version of that same tool. And they're pretty close. Their snap one might be a little longer. It's got a little bit of a wider flare at the back. I'm going to try out my cheap tool, see if it works. Try out the snap one tool, see if there's any difference. And as long as my tool works, that snap one can go back to my mechanic. But uh, it's going to be it's going to be a fun time getting up in there. You know, it'd be nice if this was like a car and you could reach the glow plugs from the top, but no. So we're gonna go through and pull out the six millimeter retaining pieces all the way around. Looks like there's some in the back too, and then fight this out and we'll be able to see our passenger side glow plugs. There's a lot of uh, extra bolts and then some like Christmas tree clips under the sides, but I got it out. And that does not look like it's gonna be fun to work on. Not at all. I'll probably spray it down some and let it sit a bit and then give it a shot. So we're under here and I'm having absolutely no luck getting these uh, connectors off the glow plugs, but I have to say that starter looks pretty darn. So we're back on the next day. I got all the glow plugs out. I also absolutely obliterated. Actually, those two are still attached. This one totally broke. Um, what I ended up doing yesterday was trying to hit it with WD-40 to get them loose. Did not work. I saw online to use PB Blaster, so I got some of that, and they came out pretty quick. I struggled for probably an hour and a half yesterday trying to get them without it. Put, uh, put the PB Blaster on, let it soak for about two hours, came out here, and they were all out within ten minutes. So, that's definitely a benefit. I'm going to now go in there, try to get my socket onto them and get it opened up. We now have the four glow plugs out going from the front of the engine to the back of the engine. And there seems to be a ton of oil in these, but I don't know if that's normal. I know somebody said they're often oil covered in the six O's, so I, I don't know. But now, now that we have the glow plugs out, they said the passenger side head gasket was blown. Therefore, we should be able to pop the hood, put a jump pack on it and do the, uh, starter how we did it before and see if we can get anything to kick out of this i have the jump pack on i have wherever it went right here i have the starter cable and now we should be able to push it on that and see if it turns over i'm gonna put you guys down here in the splash zone to see if anything happens Still nothing, which isn't exactly boding well for us. Just because why not? Let's try to put a key in and see. The same glow plugs, that light's not gonna go away. Oh, wow, well, it did. So it's saying it's too weak. We're trying again, and I hooked up my truck to the passenger battery and the jump pack to the driver's side. Nope. I have a couple thoughts at the moment. So, 
that was just to verify that it wasn't a lack of power in my jump pack to start the truck. Hooked up to my diesel, it's still not starting. I don't think that's our issue anymore. I also did try straight, uh, going from that cable Jarrett was talking about in the last video about this truck and the same results. So, I'm kind of starting to wonder about the diagnosis as part of it. Maybe they had the wrong side of the engine, they told me, or the person who diagnosed this, they said, called himself a mechanic, which means, did he really know? I also see, as I pointed out earlier in this video, it looks like there's a new starter down there. So were they worried about their starter? I think at this point I should pull the starter and get it tested. Take it to AutoZone, see if they can test my starter and confirm that that is good. Cause that'll be a, on a normal truck, pulling the starter is not too bad. We'll see about it on the 6L. Oh, I got some dirt, but I think that's gonna be our next step in kind of troubleshooting this. And this is gonna be a multi-part uh, series because when we pulled those out, we should have been able to spin over if it was the head gasket on the passenger side, but we're still not spinning over. Glow plugs are soaked in oil, it looks like, so I'm gonna have to research that some. I just wanna get this engine at least turning over so that we can confirm it's viable to save. So after a bit of battling, the starter came out of the 6.0. And it was a learning experience, you know, having to come over here and add a flashlight up on this uh, beam here kind of angled over. That helped me get some view from the bottom, but you can see where it was right there. And looking at it, it doesn't look like it's eaten or anything like that. It once again looks very new. Ironically, this says warranty void if placed on bench tester, but that's what's about to go happen to this thing. <laughs> I'll just ask them if they're sure they can test a 6.0 starter. So according to the good old advanced auto parts, it spins, but the armature to push it out isn't working. So they labeled the starter as bad. However, I didn't even hear it spin in the truck. So I'm going to go ahead and run to AutoZone right down the road and ask them to test it and just kind of see what they give me. If they say the same thing, I'll order a new one. And here we are at good old AutoZone with our same little starter here. And they showed me it test here and the end piece did push out properly. It spun properly and it passed everything. So I'm glad I got a second opinion on it, but the starter does not appear to be our problem. So we're back from the auto parts store and really what we know now is that we can jump straight to the starter and it doesn't spin over the engine. So the engine isn't spinning even though the starter is good. Um, that also bypasses the fuses, so fuses are not the issue that we're dealing with currently. Additionally, we had all the glow plugs out of the passenger side showing that the passenger side is not causing the hydro lock if the truck is hydro locked. I think that's where I'm going to go ahead and call this video. I've spent a couple days working on the truck. Um, I don't want to make this video too long, but I also don't want to skip over some of the details that we've discussed and stuff. So thank you for watching. In the next video, I'll be pulling the glow plugs on the driver's side and maybe finding some other stuff to check on. Um, if you enjoyed this video so far, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Please, if you guys have any ideas, let me know what to look at on this truck. It's my first 6.0. You know, it's a new experience for me, so any insights, greatly appreciated. Until next time.